What happened? How could you lose? Look, Spike. Everyone makes mistakes. I screwed up my winning cons way too early. These things happen. Alright, Sep. But wait. Your team looks different. You're correct, Spike. I made a few transactions. I dropped Doc Spun and Dunsparce for Grimmsnarl and Vigoroth. I needed a real fairy type. Understandable. And screens with Iron Moth, Greninja, and Salamence can be very scary. Exactly. So, who is my next opponent? You would have been up against mid Pokemaster, but due to unforeseen circumstances, you are now against BBR Season 5 champion, Jay Bear. Oh boy, this is going to be difficult for sure. Hopefully we can fight strong and endure this W. Hey guys, Dashing Subtile here, coach of your Seattle Siglyphs, and today we are going to be doing WPF Delta Week 5 against Jay Bear and the Kentucky Toro Cats. So, Jay Bear took over for Mitt and they're using the exact same team name. So, um, before we go into our team builder, make sure you leave a like, comment below, and subscribe for more Pokemon Draft League content. So, um, there will be a timestamp to the battle right now that you can skip to the battle though if you want, but if you want to watch the team builder, just keep on watching. So, um, as we see, on, as we see our team, the Seattle Gloves on top, consists of Iron Moth, Greninja, Bronzong, Iron Hands, Decidueye, Grimmsnarl, Staraptor, Mudsdale, Vigoroth, Salamence, and Muck. And my opponent's team consists of Chen Pao, Espathra, Rotom Wash, both Basque Legion forms, Donphan, Tinkaton, Quilladin, Venomoth, Zapdos, Galar, Tauros. So, um, something to note, um, I don't have a switch into Chen Pao, so that's really annoying. Espathra can, um, beat me, but, um, spoiler, I am bringing, like, th like four Espathra checks, just to make sure I don't lose to it. Uh, Rotom Walsh is really pressured this game because it's, it has to check the Iron Moth, it has to check Greninja, it has to check Iron Hand, sort of, but Donphan could do that. It has to check, um, Staraptor and, like, Salamis. Like, it is so pressured, it can't do everything, which is so good for us. Basket Legion, um, I could see, like, a, either a Choice Band or Choice Specs that go crazy to me. But I don't really think it comes because I have I have good things for it, I guess. I have I have a Greninja that could switch in and be and then be it. Donphan's their removal, which I think comes for the Iron Hands. So that's something. Tinkaton, um could come for like Stealth Rocks, because Stealth Rocks are really annoying for my team. Quilala e I expect either Quiladin or Donphan is a Iron Hands check, which is why you will see my Iron Hands set. But um Venomoth, I don't expect to come here. Zapdos Gallar, I do expect because um, if I get one, if I get one parting shot prediction wrong with Grimmsnarl, Zapdos Gallar wins the game with Choice Scarf, which is not great. And then Tauros, I don't expect Tauros to come. If I'm being honest, I do not expect Tauros to come. So let's get into our team builder. The first mod that we are bringing is our Iron Moth. Um, leftovers. 152 Fizz Def, 180 Special Attack, and 176 Speed, Timid Nature, Quark Drive Ability, Terra Blast, Fire Dance, Energy Ball Agility, um, EV Size, we outspeed Max Speed Galarian Zapdos, 180 Special Attack gets the rules and needs on like Rotom and Basque Legion with Terra Blast and Energy Ball. So basically, um, our movesets like Terra Blast for the Basque Legion, Fire Dance for everything, Energy Ball for Rotom, and Agility for Speed boosting our speed um the the only fire resists are the water types that's it that's why we have terror blast and energy ball 152 defense for the chin pile sucker punch and that's pretty much it and like dark is really good here because it helps for the chin pow and the espada turning over a stored power sweep so yeah and and it helps for the basket legion so i have a stronger move with like, like so i have a strong move like terror blast to hit it and Leftovers is really nice because I get um, Recovery, which can be really nice. Which, it can be nice if I'm out of range of Shambhal Sucker Punch because of Leftovers. Which would be amazing. So yeah, that's pretty much our, our Iron Moth set. Our next Mon is our brand new Mon that we picked up, Crimpsnarl. Um, max HP, 
112 defense, 144 spadef, careful nature with the prankster ability, potting shot, light screen, crunch, and spirit break. Um, I felt dual, I felt um, dual stab was like attacking moves was really good here for the Aspothra because I was afraid of a Terra Steel set. So the Aspothra types I expected this week were Terra Ghost, Terra Fairy, Terra Steel, and Terra Electric. Terra Ghost for su for powered up Shadow Balls to, hit, to beat Bronzong. Terra Steel for Flash Cannon to beat um, Grim Snarl or Terra Blast for Grim Snarl. Terra Fairy for either Grim Snarl or Greninja. And Terra Electric could be good for Grim Snarl, Thunder Wave, and Bronzong. Counter Touch with Jar Ball. Parting Shot's really good to pivot out, but if I get one on one prediction with Zapdos, I am done for. Light Screen is really good for Espasa and like Basculation and Rotom. Like there's a lot a lot of special attackers. I didn't feel I needed dual screens because I felt light screen was just good enough for Espathra. Crunch is good if the Espathra was like Terra Dark Terra um steel, it can be the crunch. Spirit Brick for any other Terra type, pretty much. That's pretty much it for Grimstone. Our next mon is uh, no, one of our win cons, um Greninja. Um Battle Bond, Life Orb, um 16 HP, 32 defense. Max Puzzle Talk 208 speed with the modest nature. Dark Pulse, Surf, Ice Beam, Hydro Pump. Um, so EV is wise. My speed is me outspeeding an Espathra, creeping my Staraptor. So I'm like right above where Staraptor hits because. Strapter hits 328. Espathra will be 330. I think I'm 332. I'm a Greninja, so that's nice. Um, Dark Pulse, Surf, Ice Beam, Hydro Pump. It hits everything for really good damage. Ice Beam for Quilladen. Surf for the for pretty much everything. The only um water resists are the Basket Legion, the Rotom Wash, and the Quilladen. So and Dark Pulse. Hits Rotom for really good damage and Ice Beam hits Quilladen for good damage. And Balbon lets me outspeed um Chen Pao and Aspathra after I get a boost because Aspathra can just Aspathra cannot just click protect and get become fast with me because I will be plus one speed. And it also helps versus Scarf G Zap if I get off my boost. That's pretty, that's pretty much it for Greninja. Our next mon is our our next mon is our Iron Hands with 128 HP, max attack, 12 defense, and 116 speed adamant nature with the quark of ability. Sub ST Dragon Punch Thunder Punch. So basically, this was to be Quilladen 1v1 if they came as the Iron Hands check, because they could be an Iron Hands check. Um, Leftover is really good. We get the max amount of HP with when we click sub. We get a maximum recovery with leftovers. Um, two, at plus two, I two I two kill down from with um drain punch, which is amazing. And like this is a really good um way to force out Shampo because Shampo is not staying in, because Iron Hands can eat, can eat any hit because it's it's Iron Hands. This one's this one's goaded. Um yeah um, Iron Hands is really goaded this game and I'm. Hoping it can like do a lot. Um, subs also really good if like, if I expect the Espathra to click protect, I can sub and then just if I catch the Terra type correctly, I can beat it, one v one easily. Our next mon is our our next mon is, is our next mon is our Bronzong, max HP, one fifty two defense, one hundred four spadef, relaxed nature, levitate ability with. Stealth Rock, Body Press, EQ, Gyro Ball. Body Press is here for the Chien Pao, for sure. And, like, the Rotom. Um, Stealth Rock is here just to get out hazards. Earthquake is here for the Tinkaton and for, like, a Terra Electric Espathra. And Gyro Ball is here for, um... I think for the Espathra and also does, like, good damage on the Galarian Zapdos. And, like, Venomoth. It, it, this one can take hits. And um, it can um do a lot back, so yeah, um, that's pretty much um Bronzong, and um it's Cobra Bear for for Chien Pao, uh Crunch or Sucker Punch, pretty much, or Tingaton Knockoff, 
And our next mon, our final mon this week, is our Salamence with the Yachi Berry, Max Attack, Max Speed, 4 HP, DD Ruse, Dragon Claw, Earthquake. Um, the only Dragon Ruse is Tinkaton, so we click, we click EQ on that. Dragon Claw, everything else, we are Yashi for the Shin Pao Ice Shard, which we can live and then beat it with Dragon Claw. Pretty much it. Um, this one goes crazy if everything's chipped down. But yeah, that's going to be it for the team builder. Now, see you guys in the battle. And we are here with our battle against J Bear and the Kentucky Tora Cats because they took over from mid. Okay. So, as we see, they brought the Chen Pao, the Espathra, the Basque Legion Female, the Don Fan, the Tinkaton, and the Rotom Walsh. No G Zap is insane because I thought if I got one prediction wrong with Grim Snarl, G Zap 6 0 me with Scarf because it would have gone to fine on a part of the shot. But we're fine with that. Okay. So. Because there's like no, um, they're probably clear on me a Tinkaton then for the Grimstar, which would make sense. Um, I'd say, uh, we go with, we could go with a Bronze on lead. I wouldn't be against a Bronze on lead. But if they, if they really wrote him, that would be really annoying. I think we're gonna go with a Grimstar lead, honestly. If I'm being honest. And if they go to, if they lead Tinkaton. We go into Bronze Arm. Most likely, yeah. Yeah. I really like a Grim Snarl lead here. I really like a I really like a Grim lead. Grim lead looks real nice this game. Against the um the Against whatever he leads, okay. So good luck and have fun to J Bear. Make sure to check them in, in the in the description below and let's see. So Rotom Wash. They lead Rotom. Okay. Um Not the biggest fan of a Rotom lead, but maybe getting damage on this would be nice. But um, I think we, I think we do just click. Um, we could go get some ship and Tinkaton, but you know, best with just like, just like a potting shot, I think, into on the maybe it is. I think. Yeah, our best play is to click. But if Rolling is burned, that's really bad because I can't be a sponsor with it. I think we're gonna go for a party shot. Okay. You're probably you're you are probably clicking Volt Switch with the Rotom uh wash. So I go into my bronzong now. You're probably clicking Volt Switch. I'm going into bronze and I'm getting my rocks up. If if you do click Void and Golden Basque Legion, that's really unfortunate. That's really bad for me, I feel. Yeah, okay. Could, could go Basque Legion, which would not be great, but might be fine with me. Basque Legion. Um, F. Um, like a modest uh, attack of a uh, bronze on. Yeah, I don't take it on its back. Rose, yeah, that, that's a Basque Legion. Um. I think my switch into the Basque Legion is probably Grimmsnarl again, if I would have to guess. Spax is gonna hurt me still if they, if they go for the Hellenbus to me. But Shalbon, I'm fine with that. For Surf, I'm just doing. That is Choice Spax. I wanna say that is Choice Spax. Yeah. Hmm, this is really this is really interesting. Do I show any Grim Snarl? Yes, for the Espoff, I believe. Hmm, this is really interesting. Can Iron Hands take on this behind a light screen? I can I can so I'm gonna have to behind a light screen. That's really nice. I'm just, I think that's I think that's my play. Just go for light screen. Okay. Let's go for surf again. That does not take me out, which is amazing. I feel. Okay. Now I think I want to conserve this and okay, how much HP am I at? I'm at 32. Grim Snarl. 30 no not 32 percent, 32 HP is 8%, so I would die to rocks if you got rocks with a ton. So I think we do just go for a party 
to our party and shock you bring in Greninja. We could. Mm. Um, I think we do because I'm just no. Do we let it go down? We might. I think I do. I think I do let Grimstar go down here. Because now I can bring in my Iron Hands, I believe. Because, um, okay, there's still the, um, light screen up. Which is, um, amazing for me still. Um, I could go to my Greninja here. Because you do absolutely zero damage, and honestly, I think, I think that's my play. We, can, we go Gren here. We go Gren here. You go Gren here and we click Pump. We click Pump here. A thousand percent we click Pump. I believe we click, yeah, we click Pump. Catching the Teen Titan come in. Teen Titan comes in. And it's like max HD. Yeah, Pump's doing 50. So then I can pick it out. Okay, yeah, we click a Pump. Okay. Please land. Please land, Gren. Please land, Gren. This is the Tinkaton. Please land, Gren. Gren, I'm re I'm relying on you. Thank you. That is like Max Bedef. I believe. Yeah, that is like Max Bedef. I don't want to risk another pump. Because that's the only thing that will kill is another pump. Well, let's see. So it's at... Um, about 30. I believe. Could try to go for a surf kill. How how healthy is the road? I don't think it's getting damage yet. So I personally don't think it's worth it. So we're gonna go into the bronze on get rocks up. Yeah, we're gonna go bronze on get rocks up. Basket Legion again? If this is, if this is Hibis, oh, 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 I'm fine with that. I'm just getting up my rocks. They're probably going back in Basket Legion, which is not great. I just, that thing is really scary for my team right now. Okay. So, yep, there's the best, yep, there's the Basket Legion. Basculation. How much enough screen do I have left? I have no more to the screen. Okay, that's not great. I have zero turns of the screen, which is not great because they could just just click Shadow Ball and I would be dead. But I think the Earthquake's doing a good chunk. So I think we do go for Earthquake. Go for Shadow Bomb, this is gonna kill. Yep, okay. Hmm, this is really interesting. Could go Gren here. Like 1000 foot could go Gren. Or it could go Moth. No, we're not going Moth yet. I think our best bet is, is Greninja. Because Gren allows me to have Dark because this thing is guaranteed specs, so the name of guaranteed kills this fast bleeding darkness. But I don't think they're gonna let me keep it, but they're gonna probably start gonna overprotect again, so I'm just gonna go for the, the, the dark post button. Okay, there you go, you're gone. You're not gone? That isn't great. I'm gonna surf. Okay. Cool, we get one kill. You probably go Chien Pao, I'd have to guess. Which if you do if you, if you do go Chien Pao, I'm fine. You have to go for Ice Shard or Sacrifice. How much HP am I at? I'm at... 
This is ice shard range, I think. I I need to see what I item this jam power is. If if it does come in. Like okay, um what item? What item are you? You are boots. Boots gen, I'm pretty sure, right? Just make sure. Yes, your boots gen pal. Can go for a serve and get the dome ice shard. If you that's fine. That's fine, I'd say. Hmm. I think I'm going to Iron Hands here. This is this is a fine play, yeah. Because I'm um, Iron Hands going to take on anything. I take on the crash. I take on a lot of things. So I think I'm going to go for sub. There's no way because you're like okay. If you go for Psychic Fangs, you would um not kill me. If you're like, okay. Psychic Fangs is 50. I, I don't kill. Who's gonna go? Who's gonna swap out? Yeah, excellent, excellent play, excellent play by me. Okay, cool. Into Thistle. It's Donham. Okay. I am fine with this. I am fine with this for right now. Going for an SD and I'm clicking um Drain Punch next turn. Going for an SD right now, I'm going for Drain Punch. Going for SD. And let's see. Hmm. For Earthquake, that's fine. I'm just gonna go Drain Punch. I should heal a full with this thing. I should heal a full. And then just do it just click drain punch again. Do not miss click. Do not miss click. Do not miss click. Do not miss click. Okay. Okay. Um. Drain punch. That's good ship. That's about the, that. That's about the range I do. And then you probably you 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 do not kill me. You are helmet. I shouldn't still. I shouldn't die still. Okay, cool. And now I think I just go for another drain punch. Which you, this is probably time of bother time if, if from you. Because like I don't have much, you you would think, so I'm gonna go for a drain punch. I thought that that's fair. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, now, if you go as Pathra, my play is to substitute. If you go as Pathra, my. Okay, if you, you go Tinka time. That's good for me. I'm just gonna Grind Punch. I'm just gonna Grind Punch. I'm gonna see um, my range I'm at. I am at 170. 170. 175. 36, Tinkaton, if you are, um, not offensive at all, Flareoff never kills me. I'm going for a Drain Punch. You are, you are sort of offensive, unless I crit. Okay, good to know. Um, now, I'm going to afraid of Akka, I'm going to afraid of Akka right now. I think it was Salamence there. I got away from Moth End game. Okay, Salamence. It's Tinkaton. Um, could Dragon Dance here. But the possibility of Ice Spinner, is, of Ice Hammer, is really high. But I do look because I am Yashi. Go for Dragon Dance. I, I am Yashi. If you are Ice Hammer, I am Yashi. Clear off. That's a crit. That's not. What? It's like adamant max attack Tinkaton. That's crazy. I'm going to quickly. You are gone. It's amazing for me. Okay. 
Okay, you probably got champ on this ice run mirror suck for me. Just fine with me. Just fine with me. Yup, that's Champ Pow. Freaking Dragon Claw and Kiss wouldn't be greeting over SD. I'm just fucking Dragon Claw. Because you are boots, so you are not so out if you Dragon Claw SD. Okay. Um, I'll take it. I'm. What? What? I'll take it, I guess. This is Rotom. This is Rotom. Rotom Wash. He heals two months left. How high is this? Or how much attack do I have? I'm plus three. Plus three on my Salamence. Salamence. Plus three. If, unless like Max Fizz Death. Or even if he is, he, he's taking rocks. Oh, he's in range. Please, Salamence. Let's go! Salamence. There's no way we can pull this off. Here's the spawn throw, the big throw is not okay. Click on Earth, click on Kiss, you are Terra Fairy. Click on Earth, click on Kiss, you are Terra Fairy. What? Oh my! Um. Well, um. GG's to, um, J Bear and the Kentucky Tora Cats. Holy shoot! Salam has pulled it off for us! That's insane! I hope you guys enjoyed this video. GG's to JBear, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, my subtitle squad, and to everyone else that's watching, thank you.